So I kind of want to talk about um, how my prayer life has changed and how it's transformed me as a person. Um, so pre-2020, if any of you met me, um, you knew that I was quirky and you knew that I have anxiety. Post-2020, I still do too. Um, but because of that anxiety, I was in constant prayer, which to me as a person thought, that's great. I have a great prayer life. I am constantly talking to God. God and I, like, I don't even say amen because why send it? It's just, it's ongoing. Um, there's very little time between one thought and the next. Um, so, uh, prayer to me, um, was, was inwardly focused though. Um, the prayer that I had sounded more like this, and this may sound pretty pretty normal to someone else who might have anxiety out there. It sounded like this. Lord, thank you so much for letting me walk in that building and not have a meltdown. Or, Lord, thank you. I talked to three people today and I never cried. Um, and it sounded like this. Lord, I am still sitting in my car. Lord, please give me the courage to walk into this building. I don't know what um, the layout is going to be. Lord, please um, let me find the bathroom as quickly as possible so I can regain my composure. Um, those constant prayers that I had um, were a relationship with my father, but it was very in inwardly focused and very selfish prayers. Um, they were necessary. I don't get me wrong. I, I needed God's strength to get me through the day, but, um, my life and my prayer life really was living minute by minute. Um, so I had a lot of hurt, um, that hurts from family, friends, coworkers, um, church family, uh, that I forgive very easily. Um, I, if you hurt me, I am the person who will probably apologize for you for some reason. Um, but I will move, move on, um, and act like it never happened because I feel like I can't hold people to the same standards that I hold myself. Um, but I don't forgive myself. I don't forgive myself for, uh, for forgiving the other people or for, for letting that happen, whatever that hurt was. Um, so 2020 happened. I got very sick at the beginning. Um, and then stay at home orders happen. So, um, a good majority of the first half of 2020, I didn't really leave my house. Um, so without leaving my house, I noticed pretty quickly that my prayer life dwindled. Um, I didn't need to constantly ask God to make me not have a panic attack or praise him for not, for allowing me that strength. Um, I wasn't going to have a panic attack walking into my kitchen and I wasn't going to have a panic attack talking to my husband or my kids. Uh, so my prayer life needed to change because I missed that conversation that I typically had ongoing with Christ. Um, so 2020 gave me a time to focus on healing and not just healing my body from whatever illness I had at the beginning of the year, um, but healing um, my mind and my body and my spirit. So um, that hardened heart that I did have, I knew needed to to change. I uh, It's exhausting living minute by minute like that. Um, and I really worked through some things with, with God, um, through prayer, through Bible reading, um, that I wouldn't have been able to do during a normal year. Um, so now I'm back in the world. I'm back doing my job, wearing a mask and social distancing, planning, washing my hands. And I constantly have hand sanitizer, but I'm out in the world. Um, but I notice um, that my prayer life has changed a lot. So, um, typically I would, uh, before going into any building, stop and pray about, um, 
not having a panic attack or um, giving me strength. Um, and now I, uh, I ask God f f for the strength to, and the ability to, to help families and, um, bless families through my work, through my job. Um, my prayer life has changed a lot. Um, not just focus on those that I'm helping and those within my circle, but it's also, especially with everything that's happened through 2020, um, it's become more worldly um and in a way that means um not just in my circle so uh, everyone that's affected been affected by covid or any of the political unrest um any of the racial um issues that have come up as well and that people are focusing on more now um those prayers have been been outwardly focused instead of that inwardly focused just trying to get through the day um so that's kind of how my um prayer life has changed and most people that have met me that knew me already um have mentioned that i have changed um i am a little bit more outgoing i'm not in constant fear that I'm gonna have a panic attack so that's helpful um, I still won't shake your hand um, and if you don't know about that it's okay um, I'm I will say hi to you but I probably won't shake your hand um, so uh, I hope to see you all soon um, don't be shocked if I'm still wearing a mask post pandemic just cuz I don't like your germs um, but that's kind of how my prayer life has has transformed and helped transform kind of my life and my heart um yeah <laughs>